stories below ground, 60 feet, that's where rescuers needed rescuing themselves. They were trapped far below the streets of Dallas in a place few of us ever see. Channel 8's Craig Sabato tonight is live with what they were looking for. Craig? Well, John, they were looking for a stray cat, and we've all heard stories of how sometimes cats get stuck up in trees. Well, in this case, this cat got stuck more than 60 feet below the ground in a system of tunnels beneath a building. A maintenance worker heard her cries, and then animal control workers went to work. That's eight-month-old Rewind, all patched up. Puncture wound to the left side of her head, lip on the left side was torn. The little black cat whose curiosity nearly killed her. <laughs> it's believed she spent five days trapped in this ventilation tunnel buried deep below the city streets. Yeah, about 60 feet. Dallas animal control officer Shannon McLeod got the call. I first climbed up the 12-foot ladder. She climbed a series of ladders just to get to the tunnel, then crawled through the cramped space until she found the cat clinging to a ladder. I just saw a, a small cat in the dark. His little green eyes were up, and he was just hanging on. She snapped this picture of Rewind just moments before the cat got scared and jumped more than 40 feet to the ground. He just got really startled and, and took a jump. Officer Amy Carlisle went in after her and stayed with the injured cat in that hole for more than a half hour. It was uh, dark, very dark. Obviously no lights. Um, and it was hot. The Dallas Fire Department had to be called in, and they used a rope to help get everyone out safely. It was an adventure, I have to say. It was something I'd never experienced before. It is a rescue these officers won't soon forget. No, it makes me feel good. But she's got spunk. Especially knowing little Rewind will be just fine. But now, she only has eight lives left. In Dallas, Craig Savali, 